What comes to your mind when you think of fast food? Do you think of McDonald's Golden Arches, the Burger King Crown, or the Wendy's logo? Either way, fast food is such an ingrained part of American culture, so it's important to understand how it all came to be. America didn't become the fast food capital of the world overnight. It all started in the late 1700s when Oliver Evans designed a more efficient mill to produce refined flour. The mills that came before Evans's were time consuming, so with the invention of Evans's mill, more flour could be produced in a shorter time. These mills were expensive, so oftentimes small farmers were driven out of business because they couldn't financially keep up with the new industrialization of flour. Over time, flour production was in the hands of only a few huge flour mills, which allowed the price of flour to decrease. With more flour being produced, there was a greater need for quicker transport so the goods could come from the factory to the consumer in a shorter time span. In the late 1700s, the invention of turnpikes, also known as toll roads, made transportation quicker and easier. However, with time, toll roads were viewed as slow and inconvenient. So in the early 1800s, Robert Fulton invented the steamboat as a way to transport goods by water in a quicker fashion. At the same time, the first railroad in England was being invented and Americans saw their success from afar and brought railroads to America. The work for America's notable transcontinental railroad began shortly after bringing railroads to America and when it was completed, greater quantities of food were able to travel in a shorter amount of time. Some clever entrepreneurs like Gustavus Swift and Andrew Chase developed and refined the refrigerated train car in the late 1800s, which allowed for transport of perishable goods such as beef across the country. With all of these inventions, from the mills to transportation advancement, Americans' access to processed food grew easy and affordable. Another reason for the low prices of processed food is that the government subsidized the ingredients used to make many of these products. This means that the government offered farmers incentives to grow large quantities of monocrops, such as corn, that are used to make up the majority of fast food menus. All of these reasons led to factories scrambling to find ways to produce enough food to satisfy these increasing demands. Flour and corn began being used in processed foods, and beef was slaughtered and sent to satisfy Americans' craving for meat. Without any industry standards or regulations, many factories began employing unethical habits to get the job done. The meatpacking industry was one of the worst culprits as discovered by journalist Upton Sinclair in his renowned novel, The Jungle. He worked in a meat factory and discovered many of the horrors in these workspaces. Animals were slaughtered inhumanely and the meat products were laden with chemicals and oftentimes beef and pork were combined with the meat of diseased animals as well as the occasional human body part. This led to laws to prevent these unsafe conditions which actually led some Americans to have more faith in factory produced foods rather than those that were produced locally because of their lack of oversight. These new laws led to a greater production of beef that Americans believed they could now safely eat. At this time, more Americans were working than ever before and life was increasingly fast-paced. There was a need for restaurants that served cheap food without having to force customers to sit down for a meal. This led to America's first fast food restaurant, White Castle. Established in 1921, White Castle experimented with selling cheap burgers. Their original price for a burger was a mere 5 cents, which is the equivalent of 55 cents today. Their target customers were working people who did not have time for a sit-down meal. These people could walk up to the counter and have their food ready to eat in seconds, which was a huge game changer for hungry, busy Americans. This revolutionized the way Americans ate their meals. Before fast food, the idea of eating quickly or on the go was seen as vulgar and uncivilized. Now, Americans embrace the ideology or efficiency that everything done faster is better. The food was so inexpensive because the production was standardized. Labor costs went down as food companies could now hire unskilled workers, including teens and immigrants, to work in the kitchens. In 1955, Ray Kroc changed the entire fast food industry with McDonald's. He visited a burger bar run by the McDonald brothers in San Bernardino, California. Kroc saw potential in their idea, so he bought the restaurant and decided to franchise it. McDonald's became accessible to Americans in all locations as stores opened up in shopping centers, highways, and near playgrounds. These days, one in seven Americans going out goes to McDonald's, a whopping statistic for a franchise that is less than 75 years old. So, how did fast food restaurants like McDonald's become so popular? People tend to be drawn toward restaurants like McDonald's due to its reliability. You always know what you're getting no matter what McDonald's location you are eating at. Their limited menu provides people with short wait times so they can order, pay, and eat their food without ever having to leave their car. Also, many McDonald's chains are always open 24-7, allowing people to trust in McDonald's as a go-to at any time of the day. 
McDonald's is not only popular because of its convenience. Most of the foods they produce are laden with salt, sugar, and fat to appeal to Americans' cravings for these foods. This dark side of the fast food industry affects millions of Americans directly as overconsumption of these foods causes illnesses such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity. Many families who need food quickly, however, have no choice but to rely on this unhealthy food because of its cheap price tag. Many struggling Americans see it as this. Why spend money on more expensive fruits and vegetables when you can get a cheeseburger for only $1 at a fast food restaurant? Corn specifically has had a huge influence on fast food. Because of its abundance and affordability, many industrialized ranchers have started feeding their cattle corn instead of the natural alternative grass. Animals that are raised on corn will grow in a shorter time span, yet many will develop diseases that can transfer into their meat which the consumer is then eating. In 1977, author Wendell Berry criticized the fast food industry, calling for a need to go back to the basics. He also touched upon the extensive environmental impacts due to the rise of fast food. Beef was the most environmentally impactful food as it requires more land and non-renewable land resources other than meats. For example, half a gallon of gasoline is needed to produce only 2.2 pounds of meat. Today, some companies are more dedicated and focused upon reducing their environmental impacts to create more sustainable American food ways. The fast food industry is constantly evolving in response to consumers' demands for ethically processed food, specifically meat. These demands demonstrate the recent shift in Americans towards supporting more environmentally friendly practices. Hopefully, we will see this reflected in future practices of the fast food industry. It is important to note that we can have fast and healthy food that doesn't hurt our environment. We just have to use our money to support the right companies. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.